Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Quick Parts. Here's the scenario. You would like to make your life a little easier and create some text that you can automatically enter into various documents without having to recreate it over and over. Quick Parts can help you with this. When you create a Quick Part function, it will be stored in the Building Block Gallery. Watch this video to learn how to create automatic text and store it in the Quick Parts function. First, you need to create the text that you would like stored in Quick Parts. Maybe you have a closing and printed name that you use all the time. How about a company name or address, a logo, or a combination of all of them? Whatever it is, you need to create it first. I have many documents in which I need to insert the name of my company. So type the text and apply the characteristics such as the font style, size, and color. With the text highlighted, go to the Insert tab and in the text group, click the down arrow on Quick Parts. If you want it to be displayed as soon as you click on the Quick Parts function, select Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. When you do that, the Create New Building Block dialog box is displayed. Give your text a name. If you want to see it as soon as you click on Quick Parts, leave the gallery as Quick Parts. You don't need to change any of the other fields, so just click OK. Now, when you want to insert your text in another document, go to the Insert tab and in the text group, click on Quick Parts, and there it is. Just click on it. You can do this with many selections, but if you like to see a clean drop down, or if you would like to store it in the auto text and create your own category to store them in, do the following. Here is a document with my company name and logo. And here is my address, phone, and email. Here is my closing printed name and title. So I'm going to select the text or items and store them in the auto text gallery with a separate category. So I'm going to select this object, go to the insert tab, click on the quick parts, and now select auto text and at the bottom of the selection, click Save Selection to the Auto Text Gallery. When the dialog box is displayed, enter a name. And this time, make sure the Auto Text Gallery is selected. In the Category field, click on the drop down and select Create New Category. Here's a tip there's only one category here now, and it's called General. If you want your category to be listed at the top, since the categories are in alphabetical order, name your category with that in mind. Here's another tip. If you put a space before the category name, it will be listed at the top. Enter a description if you need one. Leave the other fields as is and click OK. Do this for all your selections. Now when you click on Quick Parts and Auto Text, your selections will be at the top of the list. Just click on them as you need them. To learn more about this subject, watch the Auto Text, Building Blocks, and Galleries video. Here's a final tip. When you close Word, you will get a message asking you if you want to save the changes to the building block. Select Yes if you want these Quick Part functions available next time you open Word. And that is the end of this lesson, Quick Parts.